Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are unboxing the collector's case and this is the July Vampires and Bunnies box. I was so excited when I saw this box advertised. I love the, the, the whole thing. It's like a mystery box, etc. You don't know what you're going to get. I'm going to link all the pricing info down below, but I believe this box is about $35 a month. It comes from Canada, so that that does include the shipping. Um, I'm really surprised. It came in pretty good condition. You can see that. A uh, little bit torn up, but it's still sealed. And the Vampires and Bunnies theme is because of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So if anyone has watched that show, you know that the character Anya is a vengeance demon and she ends up becoming human. She is terrified. Like her nightmare is to be surrounded by fluffy, cute little bunnies. Yes. So, cause she used to be a vengeance demon and bunnies are super cute and cuddly and she's horrified, horrified. They're like the worst thing for her. And obviously vampires, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So yeah, there's probably other, um, other shows here, you know, vampire related. So let's just go and get into it. Oh, and before I forget, the most exciting part is, depending on the theme, they do have a celebrity autograph that you can get. So because of the theme Vampires and Bunnies, you could get the actress who plays Anya's autograph, Emma Caulfield. So I'm really excited. I'm hoping that I'm the lucky one or one of the lucky ones who gets the autograph. Not everyone gets it. You can pay for the upgraded box, which is called The Sure Thing. And that one, I think it's like $60, $65. And that one guarantees that you get the celebrity autograph for that month's theme. So yeah, I'm super excited. I can't wait to open this. And let's just get to it because I, I'm dying to know. I really want to know if I got the autograph. I really hope I do. So positive thoughts, positive thoughts. All right. So open up the box. This is what you're going to see. Ooh. Okay, so we have the nice paper. I love it. Look, question mark. And on the other side, I think we'll see the collector. Ah! Yep, he's right there. Ooh, oh, holy. Uh oh. Hold up. I was not expecting that. All right, we're going to go straight for the biggie item that I just saw. Oh, it's a little crush. Oh, I'll have to fix that. Look at this, guys. Oh, my God. DC Bombshells Black and White Sketch Edition of Harley Quinn. Oh, my God. I have no clue how Harley Quinn is related to Vampires and Bunny theme, but I don't, I don't care. This is awesome. I, as you, if you've seen my other videos, um, I do collect the DC Bombshells. I love this, and I do not have this one. <gasps> Harley Quinn is really difficult to find, and I didn't even know they had this one. Wow, this is amazing. Look at her. Oh, she's so gorgeous. <gasps> this is awesome. I'm going to have to open the box because I don't know if you can see it's, like, like dented right here. I'm going to have to open it up and, like, try to, like, fix it up. But, yeah, this is awesome. Let me see if I can get her out. Okay, I got her out, and it's really cool because the box has, like, an art print in the background. So it's, like, even if, even though she's out of the box, you can still see the black and white Harley Quinn. So the tape, the glue right here is off of the box. That's why it's dented like that. So I just put a little glue, and I can fix the box up. So that's not bad. Really cool. And then here is Harley. Look at that. Oh, she's gorgeous. Look at it. Let me zoom her in. All right, guys, look at that. She looks exquisite with her little pop gun. Look at that. I really love her. Like, she's the same. It's the same mold um, as the colored ones, but I really like the black and white. It just makes it different. You can see she has, like, the playing cards right here in her thigh high and her stocking. She just looks so awesome, and she's on the bombshell, obviously. Really cool. All right, so that was Harley Quinn, bombshell, really awesome. Not really sure how she goes with the theme, but like I said, I don't care. I love her. So let's look at the t-shirt. 
Um, I got a men. Oh, I got an extra large. Why did they get? Oh, I think they were out of the my size. Ugh. All right. Well, I'm, this might have to be a sleepy pants shirt. Let's see. Oh man, that sucked that they had run out of my size. Vampires and bunnies, and it's a little vampire bunny. Oh, how cute. Yeah, this will fit, but it's like a dress on me. Uh, I guess I could wear it, like, tucked into some jeans or something. Or, like I said, to sleep. But, yeah, oh, man, this is an awesome shirt. Really good quality. It's a Gildan Heavy. Yeah, it's a Gildan Heavy cotton. So this is really cool. That's a really awesome T-shirt. Really sucked that by the time I found out about the box and I went to order it, the mediums were gone. Like, you have to pick your size, and they were all out of mediums. All right. Oh, okay. We This makes sense, bunnies. Uh, we have uh, Donnie Darko Dwarves, and this is Frank. The box got kind of dented. Um, not that big a deal to me because I already have this dwarf. You can see him right there. I'll, I'll get him in closer. So there you see Frank. He's wearing his... Uh, Halloween costume, the creepy bunny. There's the artwork on the side, back. Those are the two um, characters. You can get Donnie and Frank. They have chases of these, um, Frank without the bunny head and Donnie with his hoodie up. And I think um, a bloody eye or something. Oh, no, Frank has the bloody eye with the pencil in it. So yeah, this is really cool. I already have it, so I don't really care. It is dented, though, which is kind of disappointing because, um, you know, these items, their value, part of it is, you know, the intact boxes. But that's cool because this could be one that I take out of the box and display and then have the other one that I keep in box so that it doesn't get damaged. So yeah, this is really cool. And you know what? I'm going to take it out right now because it doesn't matter. The box is already damaged. Not that I don't take out my other ones. I'm not really an in-box collector, but I usually take them out once, check them out, look at the paint job, and then put them right back in the box with a box protector. So there we go. Look at him. Really cool. He's heavy. Ooh. He looks really good. There you get a better view of him out of the box. Look at those creepy teeth. Oh, my God. He was so creepy in that movie. And look, it looks like you can see the fur. The way they drew it, it looks really good. In the back, it's like he's furry all over. This is like a big onesie he wears. This is a giant creepy bunny. Avatar of Doom. Kind of have a color, a color coordination thing with the grays and the whites there. <laughs> really awesome. Okay, ooh, okay. We got two mystery vinyls. And these are Titan vinyl figures. And these are Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So let's see what we got. I think um, we show you what the possibilities are. All right, these are all the ones that you can possibly get. That's the artwork on the front. Welcome to the Hellmouth. Here's some more characters. And then they're describing the different, uh, you know, they can come with accessories and you can move the heads and pose them. So I'm excited. All right, so let's see what we got in these uh, mystery boxes. I hope, I'm not really sure, wait, you know, before we open it, let's see, which one would I want? Hmm, well, there's a mystery Buffy. Uh, then there's the regular Buffy, vampire Buffy. Ooh, she's pretty common, so Spike. I don't know, I think I'd be happy with any of them. I'd love to get the set, like Buffy and Angel. Yeah, I know, I'm such a nerd. All right, so here's the first one. Nothing else in the box. Oh, I like the, the, the bag is not just generic. It actually says Buffy on it. Let's see if there's a little pull tab right here. Woo. That vinyl smell. Yes. Oh, okay. So we got Vampire Buffy, it looks like. Let's see. Let's double check. Yep, Buffy Vampire. And that's a 2 out of 20. So she's, I guess, common. Let me zoom you in. All right, there you can see Vampire Buffy. Kind of... Creepy and scary. Still cute, though. Nice outfit. Got her little hair tied back. And uh, these are slightly outposable. You can move the head and her arms. The hair kind of keeps it from going far. This one does not come with any accessories. So that's the one mystery figure. Let's see what we got in our other box. Please be something good. 
so excited. I love these mysteries, but it sucks when you get duplicates because you get the same figure again and again. All right. I'll be happy with anything as long as it's not another vampire Buffy. Aww. Wah, wah, wah. We got another vampire Buffy. All right. She's going to go into the giveaway stash. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Aww. Would have been good to get something different. All right, so we got two Vampire Buffies. All right, next items, we got two packs of the Vampire Diaries trading cards. That's interesting. Um, I love the Vampire Diaries. I remember I read the books um, by L.J. Smith, whew, probably in like seventh grade. Long time ago, they were amazing. I think I've, I've never read books so fast in my life. <laughs> They're, you know, very, they're like teenage, you know, level reading, so it wasn't very difficult to read. Um, the TV show kind of de did deviate uh, pretty much from the books, but I love the books. I really did. All right, so we opened the first pack. And let's see, did we get anything cool? I think we can get, like, special cards. I don't see anything. No, we didn't get any special in this packet, but I'll show you what we got. Let me zoom it in. All right, so here's the first card, season three, Here Lies Caroline Forbes. So that must have been when she passed away. And then it has a little info on the back about the series. Here we go, another one with Alaric and Damon. Oh, here we go, here's Klaus. And we go Elena and uh, Stefan. And then here, ooh, here we have another one of Elena and Stefan. It's funny, the two with Elena, they're not showing her face. That's kind of funny. Okay, so those are standard cards. We have one more pack. Um, and let's see, maybe we get lucky and we get an autograph or a wardrobe card in this one. Okay, let's look at them really quickly. Okay. No special cards in this pack, but I'll show you what we got. So here we go. We got, uh, there's Bonnie the Witch, and there's Damon, and it looks like a Laric. There's Damon again on the cell phone, brooding. Here we have Elena with Damon, and we finally see her face uh -huh, with Damon, of course. Clearly, I I like her with Damon best. That's, that's my opinion. They just make a better couple. And then we have... I have no idea who this is. Who is this? Oh, um, oh my god. That's the, I forgot her name. She's uh, one of the originals, I think. And, oh, there's uh, Elena's brother. Forgot his name. And that's it. All right, so those were fun. I do like the Vampire Diaries. Kind of disappointed that we didn't get an autograph or a wardrobe card. That would have been cool. All right, let's see what else we got. We have, oh, this is from Twilight Eclipse. Cullen Crest Bat, Cullen, oh, tongue twister. Cullen Crest Crest. <sighs> Take three. Cullen Crest bag clip. All right, and this is a NECA item you can see right here. It's just like a little charm that you can put to your bag or your backpack. It's pretty cool. I'm not that into Twilight, but this is pretty generic. I don't think if, if unless you're really hardcore, you know what this is, and it's kind of pretty. So yeah, I actually, I did watch all the movies. I read the first book, and my brain almost melted. So, yeah, I'm not really a Twilight fan, um, but this is really pretty, and I don't think, you know, anyone would really know what it is unless they're, like, really into Twilight, in which case, you know, I'm okay with it. That's your choice. <laughs> All right, so that's awesome. Then we have, ooh, okay, we have uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Autumnal, and this is, like, a, I guess um, one of those books. Yep, it, it looks like it's a graphic novel. Right here, I'm going to show you a little bit of the inside. We've got a graphic novel. Really pretty. Um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Autumnal is the darkest, scariest, and deadliest collection of Dark Horse Buffy stories ever, collecting two spine-chilling tales from the best-selling comic book series. Really cool. This is nice. I like this. Okay, and then that is it. Oh, this is really cool. They put a little, um, 
well, they put a pop protector in. Kind of not the right size. We got a door. But I, li I like the intent. They, they were trying. So, yeah, this is a pop protector. Luckily, I have dwarves protectors already because I'm that big of a nerd. But this is very thoughtful of them. I like that they did this. Um, these can be, you know, depending. If you order them in bulk, you can get these for like a dollar each. But, you know, if you have to buy them piecemeal, these can, these can be pricey. Like they could be like, you know, three, four dollars or something in stores. So this is really cool that they included this, even though it's technically not for adorbs. Um, it's for the actual Funko Pops, the bigger ones. All right. So that is it. That is all in our box. So we didn't get Emma Caulfield's autograph. I'm kind of disappointed, but that's OK. It's a risk. I should have gotten the short thing, but I didn't want to spend so much money. Uh, the last thing. July's collector's case. This is the little um, uh, spoiler card so we can see all the different variations. Yeah, oh, we could have gotten her autograph. Awesome pictures, too. All right, let me show you what uh, all the different options. You can see right here for the Twilight bag charms, you could have gotten three different ones. Um, I'm glad I didn't get the one with his face. And this one says Team Jacob. No, 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 no. I like the first one. It's, it's more generic. Um, the mystery vinyls, we got the same one twice. That kind of sucked. Um, but, you know, it's not their fault. Then we have the graphic novel. We have our dorbs. That, you couldn't have gotten a different one. It's the same one. Although, wait, it looks like you could have gotten the chase. Yeah, there's the, if you look right here, that's the chase that I was talking about, where he has, he's unmasked. Uh, then we have the cards, and the cards, again, those are mystery. They don't determine it. You could have gotten wardrobe or autographs in those cards, the trading cards. We have the bombshell, the T-shirt, and you could have maybe gotten an autograph, but we didn't. And back here, we have next month's upcoming cases. So August is Cosmos theme, and you can get um, an autograph from, I believe that's uh, Chekhov. And uh, the actor who plays him is Walter Koenig. So you can get his autograph. And then September is Jay and Silent Bob. So you can get uh, Jay's autograph, it looks like, in September. Jason Mews. Pretty cool. And then over here you see some other collector's case uh, unboxers or uh, fans. All right. So that's, uh, that's all she wrote for the collector's case. Vampires and Bunnies theme July 2017 unboxing. I really do enjoy this box. It's exciting to, you know, the idea of possibly getting an autograph. Um, if it was, if it's something that you really, really want though, and you don't want to be disappointed, go for the short thing. Like I said, I'm going to link all the info down below. You can check it out. Other than that, everything in this box was really good quality. I really love that bombshell. The Dorbs is awesome. It goes with the theme. Um, the t-shirt was really great as well. You got to get in there early though if you want to get the size that you want. So, but luckily I can, I can make the extra large work. <laughs> so yeah, disappointed about the autograph and that I got a dupe on the mystery vinyl, but it is a common, so that's the way she rolls. Anyway, let me know what you think. Comment down below. Do you get the collector's case? Have you ever gotten an autograph? Like that must've been amazing. Let me know, and if you like my content, if you like my channel, click that subscribe button down below, hit the like, let me know you're out there. Bye-bye for now.